Hi, today we've got Patrick Vuet here from Partners with Melanesians in Papua New Guinea, he's based, and we're here for a 3D modelling workshop. Patrick's very experienced in 3D modelling, so Patrick's here is going to tell us a bit about what he does in Papua New Guinea. Thanks, Patrick. Uh, thank you, Robin. <coughs> uh, in Papua New Guinea, I've been through a number of uh, 3D model uh, uh, construction in the country, and um, the one in Manus that I've been uh, helping the co-facilitator in uh, constructing that model. Uh, that's uh, through the funding from TNC and uh, we've uh, done those uh, 3D models. So one of the main things that uh, uh, this 3 model uh, portrays is it uh, involves mostly the communities, it is participatory. Mm -hmm. So the communities are mostly involved in it. Right. So, so when you say their communities are involved, sort of what do you see as highlights that out of this process, what do you see that the communities sort of um, benefit from this process? Uh, like um, they, it's, it's, it's uh, in a three-dimensional view, mm -hmm. so they actually see what uh, the old landscape of their area right. and they can usually see the where the rivers are, mm -hmm. uh, where their mountains, their gardens mm -hmm. and all those. So it's good for, it's, it's like it's a planning tool, so it's good for decision making. Yeah. Yeah, so they, if they view the, the features on the land, yeah. uh, it will, uh, they can clearly see where, if a particular development can, uh, will take place in a particular area, right. they can easily see where the impacts will take place. Because they can see where the rivers are, mm -hmm. and if a particular, for example, a river, yeah. if uh, mining is going to take place, they can see where the tailings will go to, yeah. like the nearby rivers, mm -hmm. and what, uh, what are the communities that will be affected. Yeah. So they will know exactly what are the impacts of uh, uh, that particular development. And do you think this changes the way people m as a community make decisions and about how they plan for the management of their natural resources? Yes, uh, like in PNG in most cases like uh, the, the, the local communities are honored. Mm -hmm. the, like the authority, the government didn't uh, listen to them yep. because they think that uh, they don't have the uh, capacity to like, make decisions. Mm -hmm. But this 3D model is very helpful to them because it will include in, in, involve them to make decisions. They, 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 they will have the capacity to make decisions because they, they can visually see what are the impacts of a particular development that uh, uh, a particular de uh, development will, will bring about. Yeah. So that is what I see as uh, very helpful for the community. And is it, how does it involve different um, members of the community, so do different people get involved? Yes, uh, the 3D model is, uh, 3D model construction uh, especially is, uh, is more suitable for students, mm -hmm. uh, mainly for the construction uh, yep. uh, uh, section of it, but for the information uh, uh, needed to populate the blank model, the elders in the communities mm -hmm. are very uh, uh, helpful in, 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 in that uh, uh, area. Mm -hmm. So it involves mostly young, old and yeah. even students mm -hmm. to participate. And just sort of, is there, do, are women able to be involved as well? Yes, uh, like in uh, those uh, projects on 3D model that we've gone through, mostly there was gender equity, mm -hmm. uh, both men and women were participating. Yep. So it involves everybody. It, right. it's, it's uh, involved women as well and mm. even children. Yeah. Okay. And so, thanks Patrick. I mean, uh, it sounds like it's um, sort of inspiring stuff, the work that you're doing, and um, we're really looking forward to working with partners with Melanesians as the Nature Conservancy on our future partnership. So, thanks for talking to us today. Uh, thank you very much.